Okay, so I'm back. I have acquired coffee, basically. So let me make sure that everything is going out fine. Oh, fly by the moon. Looks like our next big thing. Science data from space around Kerbin, also. Okay, well, that is our two contracts. Probably should unlock thermometer as soon as possible. That's 17 science that we need for that. Let me do some basic science junior stuff first. We really haven't uh, milked what we can do with this. Let me just put it on the pad and see how that goes. 4.5 science. Wow, that's, that's actually more than I expected. Okay. Keep data. Let's just recover. I think I'm gonna have a Kerbal walk around and get some... I don't know if... I don't know how much we can get near the KSC. Maybe we should launch one in a space and have them land in the desert? That sounds like a plan. Maybe we should just go retrograde instead of trying to... I don't know. Going retrograde into a retrograde orbit to hit a desert plus and minuses with that. Uh, let's let's have gimbal at 50% here. It'll, it'll feel a little bit more like the way it should do, I think. Okay, let's go like this. And we will have... We had Valentina in the last time, so we'll have Jeb. Okay. Let's see if we can hit a desert. I'm going to go retrograde and try and hit this area here. Alright, SAS on, throttle is up. Not really fulfilling either one of these, I'm just trying to get some science in. Okay, should get some goo containers. Actually, yeah, let me recover and get the goo containers on. No telling when we're gonna hit the desert next time. I'm used to them being so much bigger here. But let's tuck them in the. Uh, hmm. A little bit worried about heating here. But they're, they're pretty heat resistant, aren't they? Compared to the parachutes. No, the parachutes are more heat resistant. Okay. Uh, so we should have the parachutes down. Okay, hopefully that'll be satisfactory. Okay, check that Jeb's in. And launch. Okay, come on. SAS on, throttle up. And we're just headed retrograde for that desert. So, no big deal. Ah, I could have dumped some of later. Okay, but anyway, it's suborbital, I think. I think it's going to be pretty restrained here. Okay, welcome everybody, and just a reminder, I'm trying out the hard mode career for the first time in 1.0. I have not touched 1.0 before this, and so just streaming it right off. Reminder, I'm normally a YouTuber, and I have not had much experience in Twitch. Okay, looking good. No flipping out this time. Should be high enough so that deviating from prograde should not cause any problems. We seem to be quite short on fuel, actually, for this retrograde course. Okay, I think we clearly need to retroburn a bit here. I think I'm gonna overshoot, darn it. Well, there's still science to be had. I, I know this. Science will be a thing. Is there any... I, I think we've done all the space stuff already. Actually, there's 1.4 there. Is 1.4 worth it? I guess I'll keep data. We've done a crew report. I don't think that's biome dependent, so no. But once we splash down in the water, you just killed Jeb. Ah, that is a thing you must not do. K 
Okay, let me catch up with everything everybody said. Gimbals have generally been OP'd on all engines as well. Yeah, well, we're, we're having some interesting times with the gimbling. Frames appear at tier 5, aerodynamics. Good to know. That's a while, though. Ah, you used up all your electric charge and couldn't use SES for re-entry. In re-entry, normally, I mean, you'd expect re-entry to sort of force you in a particular direction, but it doesn't seem to do that. Okay, let's just get rid of that. Is it worth observing the materials bit right now? Yeah, it is. Actually, upper atmosphere we haven't done. 13.5 science. Excellent. Yeah, well, our electric charge will eventually catch up with us. I haven't been paying much attention to it right now, but eventually. G-Force Wobble makes it immersive. Yes. Yes, and... Uh, once we get into the nice cockpits, the nice pods, it's going to be even more interesting, I think. We could sit in there and uh, uh, pretend that we're going down with the capsule. That's going to be very interesting. And, of course, space shuttles, as you've already mentioned. Let me double stage the parachutes instead of having them all go at the same time. Okay, oh crud. Ba ba boop. No, bad. Uh, I forgot about. Oh my god. Oh. Dang it. Why did you have to mention killing Jeb? <laughs> Why? Why? Aww. Oh. Yes, you're not the only one to kill Jeb off of a rookie mistake. Thanks. I haven't seen the new IV of the Mark III shuttle. This is this is as far as I've got, and now I have I'm in mourning for Jeb. Uh, so much for my perfect record. I'm sort of hoping that I could get through this career mode without killing Jeb. <laughs> Don't go blaming you. <laughs> no, no, it's all my fault. I, I, I know this. I know this. This is, this is not good. Uh, well, um, well, he. Oh, it says kill in action. It is hard mode after all. There, there, there's no. Um, it's not a case where he's just missing. Ah. Uh, Moment of silence. Okay. Alright, on we go. Uh, we need more pilots. Gusber Kerman, Sidri Kerman, you're up. That's our max. We've got uh, five max and that's it. Okay, well, we still need that science. Go in the sandbox and look at it. It's... Okay, okay, we'll go, we'll go in the sandbox and check it out. Uh, I need some time to unwind after losing Jeb anyway. Okay, so let, let me just get a sandbox thing going here. Okay, well this one has the passenger module in the cockpit. Is that what we're talking about? Oh, well this this one is just like this. I, I Raster prop monitor is going to have to give us real stuff here. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this is, yeah, I think I saw this in one of the streams just very briefly. This is the... Is the whole airliner sort of thing can't turn his head very well, but we could uh, we could really do a uh, we could do an airliner. You know what we should do? The uh, the best best one look up or or look up in the other thing. Hold on. Is it in here? You mean? Oh. Okay. We could definitely make. Oh dear, this is another view. The Orion space plane from 2001 A Space Odyssey, if you guys remember that. The Orion 1 space plane would be a cool thing to make. Somebody else mentioned something else that would be interesting to make too. Um, 
Oh yes, Normandy from uh, from Mass Effect. Normandy from Mass Effect and uh, Orion Three Space Plane from Two Thousand One Space Odyssey would be both very good projects, I think. And so I'm gonna be looking at that. Don't know if I'm gonna use mods for that or not. Well, wow, they shield the stuff here. We got the funds. The funds have been going down, huh? I mean, I thought we had like three hundred thousand funds. We've lost a lot of funds because we haven't been doing those contracts. Well, our reputation must have gotten a hit because of Jeb. I think I'll just take this. I won't take the the mystery goo container. And I don't know. How do I fix the balance on this? You know what? The mystery goo would be safer. I'm going to go with the mystery goo rather than the science junior. I'm planning to land in the desert and get some readings. And so I, well, the science junior would get us so much more though, but it's pretty, pretty dangerous. Okay. Otherwise, I think the rocket itself handled fine. So let's get one of our inexperienced pilots, Guzber. Guzber, you are going to space. Definitely, definitely going to space. You know what? We've got desert close by. Let's not go to the desert over here. Let's just aim for this one. Is... I forget if... Is this desert though? I remember it was very... Only very slight parts of it were desert. Okay, uh, let, let me get the staging the way I've had it recently. Okay. Yeah. Planes. I wanted to get into planes. Everybody's been doing planes. You take a look at the streams. They've been doing a lot of plane stuff in addition to the rockets. And I think that's definitely what this version lends itself to. I mean, after all, if you've changed uh, aerodynamics, you want to do some some interesting stuff with that. Oh, I am not... I'm going too high. I'm pretty much... I'm even higher than... Okay, I'm overdoing it. Uh, This is not good at all. I was talking away. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we're going to go for that one. Well, let's just kill the rest of our horizontal velocity. Come straight down on this thing. Still seems like we're going to aim for the water. I think the map is messing with me. Alright, let's dump it. How do you recover launch stage rockets now that there's deadly re-entry? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing that. Uh, first, you can actually have them... Uh, if you could have the heat shield on the side opposite the engines and just have it uh, land engine side up. Ah, I overshot. Dang it. But... Yeah. Uh, you could just go very smoothly through the atmosphere. Um... You you shouldn't be coming down steeply with uh, the launch stage rockets. You would want to skim the atmosphere to create drag. Bring them down slowly. What else could you do? No, we have it. 2.4 there. Recover. But not what I'm looking for here. We need 5.2 more to unlock the technology that I, uh, that I want. Maybe we can find it around here. Let's just have a Kerbal head on out. Have we done Mystery Goo on the launch pad? Maybe that's a thing. Okay, we haven't. 1.8 science there. Alright, Guzber. You gotta take your tour of the of the KSC grounds, cause we need that science, and I am running out of funds. Are we far enough yet? KSC, all right, one point four. 
Oh, I guess I have to go back to the pod. What am I thinking? Uh, actually, let me recover Guzber so that we don't... Because uh, he, he can only carry one EV report. So, recover. And we'll recover the, the pod. And then we'll send the other Kerbal pilot that we haven't had getting experience. We'll send him out. No experience gained, though. But we might as well give him a little walk around. Okay, so the other ker Kerbal that we haven't uh, sent out yet. Have I ever tried the Other Planets mod and its extensions? No. I've downloaded them, and I mean to, but I haven't gotten to them yet. Uses way too much memory, though. Yeah, but I've got a solution now. I've actually installed Linux alongside Windows. So now I have a Linux installation that can use 64-bit, and... So now, now I can do the whole, uh, the whole, whole shebang, if you will. That said, Linux uses OpenGL, and I keep getting a little artifacting and uh, aliasing under it. Am I going in the right direction? Jeez. OBS does work with Linux, but uh, I haven't uh, really gotten into that yet. Just installed Linux, like, this week. Right after I saw how much RAM 1.0 would take, really. Okay. 1.4. We need some more Sidri. We need 0.6 more. Oh, sure. I don't know where the shore starts, but we have to recover you anyway. Oh, Sidri did gain experience just from walking around. That's interesting. Let's just recover that. Let's use a cheapy pod and try and get to the shore. Uh, actually, we should go ahead and add the mystery goo containment units as well, because I don't think we've done them on the shore yet. But what I want is just uh, the gold flea. We've only been used. We only used a flea once. And yeah, let's get some more mileage out of that. But this time, I'm going to thrust limit it. The flea has 180 and 25% of, of 180, math not working for me right now, 45, yeah, okay. Okay, Sidri, we need you to go to the shore. Not too sure how accurate we can be with this. But let's go. Okay, so I need uh, Sidri to head over to to the coast at least. We should be able to get some more signs like that. I'm I'm a little bit desperate here. Okay, this, this is horrible. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can't do this. No, 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 no. This is a sad way to go. Can we do... Oh, it is yours. Okay. I feel better. Keep data, because I'm not going to have him continue like that. Alright, fine. Good. Now, that's all the planes, but that's the probe part. And that's the puppy I want right now and the thermometer. So that's what I'm gonna get. I won't make this recoverable. Let's see how this works first. I'm gonna slap on the antenna and a thermometer. Now this is going to have to be thrust limited a little bit differently than before. Um, Fifty percent should be enough for that. Now, we do not have much reaction control on this. That's the trouble. We don't have any, actually. Huh. How are we going to do this? Okay. I think this is a case where I need to time it. Let's just see. Could I do this? I don't actually know if I can do... Well, I've got a little pod there that needs recovering. Um, got some stuff there. Alright, so timing it. Mm, 
means right when the moon is appearing above the horizon for the KSC. Is it just there? Seems like... Where's the moon? I guess... Can we see the moon? Well, it's not right above the horizon. Uh, okay. You know what? I know what we can do. We can try. We can try a uh, high above Kerbin uh, experiment at least. So we could try saying this high above Kerbin to the temperature scan and some goo and some science junior transmit that back, and that'll be good enough. I was actually attached to that like that, huh? Let's skip the science junior just for mass considerations. But let's do the mystery goo. It has no SAS modules. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't. Okay, we're just trying to get as high as possible to do high over Kerbin. Let's see. Okay, log temperature. Is it safe to transmit data like this? Is this worth transmitting? Okay, well we did. Oh, no, we... Oh, 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 okay. Just just go straight up. Just go straight up. Straight up is fine. We, we want to go as far away from Kerbin as possible. Escape trajectory... Ah, oh, dang it. Come on. Just go, just go up, just go up, just go up. Maybe I should put fine controls on. This is too much. Uh, I should have turned down the gimbal. Uh, not a good time to do fine controls. Come up, back, back to prograde. See what happens when I don't have SAS on. I, I'm not good at this. Are you stable? Okay sort of stable there. Have we done this out? Oh, no you're not. Okay. Uh, I lost it. KSP is pretty high on the game list? I sure hope so on release day. Come on. Nice to hear it. Uh, nice to know I'm contributing a tiny, 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 tiny bit to that. Okay. Well, the moon wasn't too far off, actually. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get to it. We've got just a little bit too much mass going with us. Okay, well, 705 kilometers is as high as we're going to get. Let's see. Could do a thermometer reading here. Okay, well this thing is not going to survive re-entry. Let us get what we can. Whoa, that's a lot of blurb. Measuring the temperature of space appears to be quite impossible as there is no matter around to be either hot or cold cold except the spacecraft and the thermometer itself. This is probably going to give the R&D guys something to think about for a while. Okay. Alright, well we're gonna see this explode, basically. Place your bets on when it'll explode. G-forces... Wow, it survived a lot longer than I thought it would. Oi! It basically survived all the way through re-entry and just in impacted on the surface? Is that, a, is that what just happened? Or is that a bug? Because I've got, I've got a buggy camera now. I can't tilt the camera up or down. The, the G-forces are still high. Okay. All right. Well, at least it admits there was a catastrophic failure, but uh, no. Okay, that's just decoupler damage by engine exhaust. 
crashed in the Kerbin. Yeah. It just collided in the surface. It survives all the way through re-entry. Huh. So much for re-entry heat, honestly. All right. Space Center. Of course, we lost Jeb to re-entry heat, so I shouldn't be laughing at re-entry heat too much. Well, we could pick another contract here. I'm surprised. I thought we, we, we just have a fly-by-the-moon contract. We gotta go for the moon. And we're gonna have to do it with a pod, because otherwise we won't have enough control. SRBs aren't going to be good enough. I really wish we had the LV-909 right now. I don't know, we should probably turn the blader up if it's going back all the way from the moon. They actually separated out the LVT-45 and LVT-30 in terms of ISP. It used to be that uh, they both had the same. Okay, this has 2,700 meters per second of, of delta V. It's not enough. It's not enough. But we've got some room for parts. Could add the radial decoupler. Huh, what would be the best way to do this? I get the feeling that making it tall is not the best idea. Oh, this just looks bad. This looks really bad. Oh, and we're over mass. Doesn't matter. Okay. Well, let's get to orbit. Let's do what we can do. And we will have Gusberg get to orbit. No, Valentina hasn't gone to orbit. Okay, Valentina can get to orbit. And we're going to try and hit a place that we haven't been as far as biomes. We're going to try and hit a place where we haven't been. Okay, Valentina, let's get you to orbit. It's about time. Make sure our thrust is proper. All right. Oh, uh, that's not as much thrust as I thought we were going to have. Just barely lifting off. Okay, well, at least we're on our way. But Valentina, remember, you flipped out a few times on your attempts to get to orbit. Let's, let's keep that restrained this time, shall we? Well, if there's anything we don't want to do now that we've lost Jeb is for anything happened to Valentina as well. Okay, 30 kilometers. Let's see how this is shaping up. Slowly. This has been a slow ride so far, actually. Okay, so there's moment of truth. Can Valentina get to orbit? It doesn't look like it. Still looks like we're short. Yeah. Can we at least get to somewhere interesting? Ah. Unfortunately, it looks like it's mostly dark. Might be good to just take a chance. I know this is all water. Same like... I mean, it's basically like what she did on that other orbital attempt. So this is a bit disappointing. Valentina's not disappointed, but I am. Valentina just enjoys the ride. Uh, there's no point. There's not even any science here. Well, okay, I guess there's that 1.4. Uh, there's the moon. We haven't gotten the rescuing a Kerbal contract, have we? The, the traditional rescue a Kerbal contract. That seems to have gone gone by the wayside. Not that it'd be particularly easy, mind you, but at least Delta V-wise I could figure out something for that. Oh, the shore's right there. I can see it now. But we've done shore already anyway. Okay, so we're landing in water. Ooh, that looked harsh. 
Okay, and then suddenly the splashes go away. Tiny bit of science. Tiny bit of recovered funds, mainly because we're so far from the KSC. No experience gained for Valentina. Okay, hold on. Let me take a quick look at those contracts again. I want to see what kind of parts we can get without having to unlock them in the VAB. And in the tech tree, sorry. What are they going to give me? It's just stack separator. We can get a basic gen engine. But actually... Yeah. Really the most important thing is the LV-909. Could take it, take advantage of it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if there's the thing where if we take it and then we use it for something else, uh, it causes failure in the contract. In other words, if I don't even attempt to do this. Now I've got two contract max, but I'm willing to fail this one. 345 versus 320 max stress vacuum 60 that's better than before okay okay I think uh, I think we'll try that it's better than doing nothing so I'm gonna fail that I'm gonna pick this up Upgrade launch pad to build bigger craft. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's a good idea. You know what? Let me try this LV, uh, LV 909 out first, and then I'll do the launch pad upgrade. That should do the trick. This looks like it's gonna flip over. Maybe I should just, yeah. You know what? Let me upgrade. Let I'm going to take the risk. I'm gonna upgrade the launch pad now. Okay, we are down to very minimal amounts of funds here. Okay, now we've got to get those firing in pairs. This is going to be painful. And I'll probably want to light this inner engine even though I'm going to throttle it down just so that we have control. Because it's a gimbling engine and these guys don't have gimbal. Okay, well, it's it's close, but let's get it a little bit more than that. Then these two go, and these two, I'm not going to have those to the bear. Let's just have them at 60. Uh, let's have them at 70. It's not that big a difference. Okay. So there's this sort of thing, and then LV-909 there. All right, Valentina. Let's go for it. 